Hi everyone, it's Nushin and welcome back. Today um, I would like to talk to you about fake tanning. Um, we are already in spring, um, summer's approaching very fast and uh, we are getting some nice days at the moment so um, I personally like to have that extra bit of color in warmer hotter weathers but remaining safe so I do like to fake tan um, my face and my body now um, for me I have tried many 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 products um, over the past God knows how many years and I've narrowed it down to these and they really do work for me at the moment of course until I find something that works better now as we all know preparation is everything when it comes to fake tanning and um, we need to have uh, smooth and extremely moisturized skin so the products go on and glide on easily without sticking to our dry rough patches on our face or our body now um, if you watched a few of my previous videos you'll know that um, i'm on retin a um, and also i'm quite big with exfoliating my skin with aha and bha acids so um, in a very mild way of course but i do use glycolic i do use lactic acid i do use salicylic acid and of course retin a is one of the biggest exfoliants itself so that's for my face and for my body I do use of course scrubs and I do use uh, body moisturizers which I'm going to go through with you now so as I said number one for getting a smooth glowing um, tan which looks flawless is to have the basis to have the foundation right okay I'm going to start with my face now there is only one product that I use for my face for um, fake tanning, fake self tanning. I have done a separate video for this um, and you will find it on my channel. However, I'm going to just show it to you very quickly in case you've missed that video. The only product that I use for my face and I absolutely love works brilliantly above anything else is my Clarence gradual self tanning oil this product is under 30 pound yes it looks small but you only need two or three drops I add it to my night oil or night cream in the evenings two or three drops I do it every other night um, depending how dark I want my skin to go it is such a natural color such a natural color it's not orangey it doesn't look yellow it just blends in beautifully and what I love about this product is that although I do have flaky skin uh, because of retin-a it doesn't even stick to my dry patches love it love it love it I do recommend you to try this if you can get a sample get a sample first you won't be disappointed I've got friends that are very fair skin still works brilliantly for them one of the products in my opinion out there ever for your face <laughs> now let's get to our body how do I prepare my body right obviously as i said i do use um skin exfoliants for my body i do this every other day in the shower for example this one it says super beauty raspberry and um, cranberry body scrub a very berry concoction with skin brightening raspberry and cranberry to slough away dead dull skin get your glow back with this soothing body scrub I love it 
I've actually bought this from TK Maxx. This is my second um, tube. It was under £10. It's 200 ml. It smells... Oh, God. It smells absolutely gorgeous. It's like a dessert. It's like an ice fruity ice cream. You want to eat it. Beautiful. Beautiful. It smells gorgeous. You come out and you just feel wonderful. Wonderful. Then, obviously, once I've used this, um and um i know that i've already got rid of my dead cells as much as i could then there are two products that i will use as my um, body moisturizer afterward one is by nip and fab now um you will find a more detailed um like a mini review of um, this product in my video as well um, it will be under um, exfoliation and how important exfoliation is and this product is mentioned in that video as one of the products I use to exfoliate my face and my body I love this product it is so effective and so reasonable I buy it from Boots Again, it's on, uh, it's I think only 12 pound or less, um, 200 ml, and this one is our chemical exfoliants in a cream form, in a body cream form, because I don't always use my physical exfoliants, which would be, of course, my scrub. So, my scrub is the physical exfoliant for my body and this is my chemical exfoliant for my body this cream contains glycolic acid lactic acid and salicylic acid and it's extremely moisturizing so again this will help to exfoliate all the dead cells brilliant it's effective be careful i have mentioned in my video that i covered exfoliants that this is quite strong so i wouldn't use it um when i've been in the sun too long or if i've shaved because you'll know about it it stings it really stings it doesn't stink it stings <laughs> Oh my God, me and my accent. Sorry, sometimes I can't, I just can't get the words out. I know what I mean. And I hope you know what I mean. So it stings, okay? But I highly, highly recommend it because it's super effective. We are doing all this to prepare our skin. So when we go in with our fake tanners, they just go on so smoothly glide on so beautifully and we'll have that gorgeous glow yes that's why we are doing all this so that's one and one other thing which i discovered a few months ago uh, again love this is by palmer's absolutely fabulous so it's by palmer's and i'm gonna read you what it claims to do um, it's anti-dark spot, fade milk, tone correcting, body lotion. It actually contains retinol. Not a lot of retinol, but it does contain retinol. And it claims to do corrects dark spots, evens skin tone, brightens skin, uh, balances the tone, corrects discoloration, deeply moisturizers and enhances radiance and glow it also contains vitamin c i love this now it is a oh some came out perfect i can show you so it comes in a cream form as you can see it says lotion but it is quite a thick lotion smells gorgeous it's got that palmer smell it smells beautifully sinks in very fast and it is extremely moisturizing it really is because i wouldn't use my nippon fab every day i find that too strong even for me and i don't have sensitive skin so nippon fab depending how i feel i try to use it every other day after my shower 
this is the other moisturizer that I think really really hydrates my skin really moisturizes my skin and gets it ready for the fake tanner to come it's gorgeous and um, even in winter I use this and I'll tell you where I use it of course I use it on my elbows I use it on my ankle I use it on my knees but I also use it under my arms you know how the but I suppose because I'm light olive color, you know how under your arms can sometimes be darker than the rest of your body? Sometimes my skin gets like that, not always, but sometimes my underarms are darker than the rest of my skin, almost like discolored, not a lot, but I notice. And I use this under my arms and I love it. I think it definitely makes a difference. It smells nice, it just, gorgeous it's soothing wonderful so these are the products that i use to prepare my skin for the fake tan to go on now i am absolutely lover of gradual fake tans i told you i use clarence for my face and for my body as i said i am a lover of gradual um, fake tans love them love them right I use two. My favorite is Dove. I use medium to dark. It is lovely, at least on my skin tone. I can only talk about myself. But medium to dark on my skin tone is wonderful. I get so many compliments. And when I tell people, it's only Dove. It's only Dove Gradual Tanner. They can't believe it. The color is so nice. So I will use Dove, which is my favorite. I also like the Garnier in the deep. This is a gradual tanner as well. And I really do like this one as well. But between the two, I prefer this. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Maybe there is just a slight color shade difference maybe i think this maybe suits my skin tone better love them both use them both to be honest i reach out for the one that it's on a special offer when i'm shopping so um, if they've got a special offer on this buy one get one half price i buy this one if this one is a third of i buy this one so i do like them equally but if i had a choice I think I prefer the Dove. I do. So these are my gradual tanners and I put it from my neck, chest, arms, elbows, everywhere. And they are very, very moisturizing as well. Very moisturizing. So to build the color, I probably use them three days in a row. And then I just use them every other day or every two, three days. But um, I find them very, very practical and they really work for me. Now, so I've already prepared my body, you see, with my gradual tanners. So I've already got my gradual tanners on. I've already got the base color there. It's super moisturized because they contain extra moisturizer. And there is one product which is a proper, I would call, fake tan that I use, works for me, is Ta -da! Skinny Tan. So this is called Skinny Tan. I'm trying to remember how much I paid for this. Um, it is 150 and I think I paid about 15 or 16 pounds. Now this Honestly, I will only use when I'm going on holiday. I don't use fake tan just in UK. My gradual tans are enough for me to be out and about in UK and feel very confident and have that color. This one I only do before I go on holiday. So I don't want to arrive paler than the rest of the people who've been for days. So I will do this fake tan. So when I arrive on holiday, 
um, I've still got a bit of a tan as this wears off obviously my own natural tan has built up now it does come with its own glove but I don't like using them I don't know why because I don't know why I just don't like using those mittens that come with um, fake tanners what I find really really easy are these disposable gloves you know these latex handy disposable gloves just the normal disposable gloves I find these the best because I think rather than you know the fake tanner gloves they're just like one piece and I feel like they slide around whereas when I put these latex disposable gloves I feel it grips better and I'm more in control when I'm applying it so I recommend you trying it once with them very very easy I find it easier and I'll read you what it says the skinny tan seven day tanner an instant lasting self tanner with a um, natural naturally derived tanning agent okay natural tan that lasts up to seven days delicious coconut scents helps disguise cellulite to be honest that's why I bought this first because it said skinny tan and it uh, helps to disguise your cellulite and we've all got a bit of cellulite even the best of us have got a bit of cellulite now I don't know if it does anything more than your usual um, fake tans I haven't seen a difference because we all know that when you're tanned you look better anyway and when you're tanned it does disguise your lumps and bumps and cellulites a little bit more so I don't know if it does anything extra but it certainly does the same as others now it does have a lovely coconut smell but it still have a slight self-tanning smell it's not as bad at all it's not it comes out in a very very can you see it on the lid it comes out in a very very dark lotion color and you know when you put it on of course it all looks patchy but don't panic the first time I tried this which was about a couple of years ago I put it on and I tried to blend it and blend it and blend it and it looks so patchy and then I realized no you're not supposed to try and blend it it's just a color gauge it looks like that but once you washed it off it's very very natural and it's quite a deep color now they say try to leave it on minimum for five hours the best is if you sleep with it I can't sleep with my fake tan on I just can't I just can't it just feels all slippy and a bit slimy I just don't like it so I usually put it on when I'm on a day off so when I'm not at work wake up in the morning I would put this on and then while I'm going around doing my housework washing ironing cooking you know all the things that we do I'll do all that while I'm in the house and let that develop the minute it gets to the five hours I jump in the shower and wash it off so I don't know how deeper it goes if I leave it more than five but I only leave it for five and I'm very happy with it again very very natural color not at all orangey and it doesn't stick it really doesn't but we know the key is to prepare our skin and try not to have um, any dry patches right I hope um, I've covered everything that I do um, however oh no I haven't all right I haven't okay one other um, product which I've actually got two of here that I've only used in the last four to five years I'll tell you the story I was going on holiday with my girlfriends we were going to Sardinia and one of my friends had brought this with her and I thought wow I didn't even know they exist existed I didn't know such products existed and it is tan maximizer 
I've got two at the moment, but you can see this one is almost finished. This was a 500 ml and I paid under 20 pound for this. I've ordered this from Amazon and this must be my third. So we've used it three years running. And um, this one, I will put on my face. So this one's called Eco Tan Accelerator. Eco Tan Accelerator. That's for our body. Howard uses it because he is so fair and it really stops him burning. Of course, this is not SPF. This is not sun protection. You have to wear your sun protection and SPF. What this does is that number one, it protects your skin and hopefully stops you burning. Not as much. It doesn't stop you not burning, but it just slows down. And also it helps your skin to tan quicker, easier, and hold on to the tan longer. So what we are supposed to do is we're supposed to start using these tan accelerators two weeks before we go in the sun. So um, it helps increase the melanin in our skin and by increasing the melanin in our skin, it helps our skin to have a little bit more protection against the sun. I cannot emphasize enough that this is not sun protection, excuse me, sun protection. It isn't. Now, this is very helpful for Howard because he's extremely fair and he doesn't tan that easily at all. So um, I probably will do this a week before I go on holiday, but I make sure Howard remembers to do it two weeks before we go on holiday. And I have seen the difference with Howard. Um, I would say he does tan slightly more. He does get a slightly more color while we are on holiday and we continue using it for two to four weeks after we come back. And I would say definitely, now this is where I'm 100% sure, it does make your tan last longer. So this is something else that I suppose is preparation when you're going on holiday with your tanning. Right, I hope you found this useful. Please, if there are any self tanners out there that you enjoy, that you like, that works for you, put it in comments and just let me know because I would like to find more products that I don't know about um, and um, just see what you've experienced and what works for you. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Please go and watch my other videos and if you like it, subscribe. Thank you so much. Take care. See you soon. Bye.